He's Chase Senior. I'm Harrison Graham, talking any given Thursday by Chat Sports. And let's talk about the New York Knicks. Could they trade for Zion Williamson and complete the Duke Big Three chase? This would be something. Now, obviously, before you even talk about any of this, is we don't really know what's going on with Zion because he has yet to play this year after having offseason foot surgery. And beyond that, during his recovery process, uh, Chase, I don't think he's really attacked the rehab much because uh, some photos that have surfaced over the last few months, uh, he's gained a couple pounds, which, hey, he's a professional athlete. He could probably lose that weight pretty quick. But I think Knicks would be intrigued by uh, bringing him to join R.J. Barrett and Cam Reddish. Does he play this year? I'm not even sure, know, and as part of that because he doesn't want to play for the New Orleans Pelicans any longer. I think that could be factoring into the conversation as well. What's interesting is that he's been away from the team, training coming off that foot surgery because there was another problem with it back a couple weeks ago in the Pacific Northwest. So that's where he's been away from the team, rehabbing, trying to get back into shape. At some point, when does Zion Williamson deserve blame for not being in shape? You're a professional athlete. I understand he has a very unique body, but you have access to some of the best dietitians, some of the best nutritionists, some of the best trainers in the world. So why do you continue to get out of shape? Yeah. There's really no excuse for it. And part of that is me maybe being selfish as a basketball fan because last year this guy shot north of 60% huh, from the floor. He's a terrific athlete. He's a phenomenal basketball player and has the ability to be a top 10 player like this year when he comes back healthy or next year. Like, that's how special of a guy it is. As far as the New York Knicks, I'd be all in. <laughs> I don't think that Zion Williamson's going to sign that long-term contract extension with the New Orleans Pelicans. He's going to get maxed out, even with the injuries. But if I'm New York, I'm giving up a lot for him, as we'll break down with our trade ideas. And I want to get the Dukies back oh, yeah, together. Baby. The Blue Devil Big Let's 3. Ride. RJ Barrett, you already traded for Cam Reddish. You get Zion Williamson as well. That Duke team was really fun to watch. Must watch television. And we already know it'd be must watch television. Magnified, glorified in the Mecca, Madison Square Garden in Manhattan. Could you imagine that first game at the Garden? with Zion, Cam Reddish, and R.J. Barrett be lit. taking the floor together. Because they're already Duke fans everywhere. This would be electric. Yeah. Now, we must acknowledge it would be risky because even before this latest injury, what was the one thing we said about Zion coming out of college? 6'6", 290, is that body sustainable? Yes. Like, I, you know, like, you think about LeBron over the years, even he's kind of thinned out a little bit because you can't be that top-heavy, you know? Yeah. You, you, you totally wanna, right. Can you get down to 265, 270, and then later in your career, maybe even 250? It's a risk. There's no doubt. There, this could be a guy when he's 30 years old, he's just he's not effective anymore because the explosion's gone depending on how that body turns out. That being said, it would be lit. It would be electric. I would probably have to take a weekend trip up to New York and go to the Garden because it would be awesome to witness this. No offense to New Orleans. Actually, offense to the Pelicans. And the fans. Let's, yeah. Show up and support the squad if it's, you want It's them. the Smoothie King Arena versus the Garden. Get Zion to the Mecca, baby. That would be absolutely awesome. Type T for trade. Type P for pass. Should the Knicks trade? For Zion, we'll hit you guys with a YouTube ad break. Get your answers on the pinned comment. And then coming up after the break, we'll break down some trade ideas as well. All right, you look at the numbers last year, and you alluded to this, Chase. I mean, he's just unreal what he's unreal. healthy. He's just such a natural player. And it's not just the athleticism. He's just so strong. I mean, he's like Shaq at 6'7". <laughs> I mean, he's just so physical with his body there. 27 points on 61% from the field. He's just incredible, man, but the questions remain around his health. The big question has always been his health. How does the body keep up? How does he manage his weight? And because of the load on his lower body, how is he able to have a long career if he's able to have a long-term career? That's really my biggest worry about Zion Williamson long-term. That's been everybody's worry about Zion Williamson long-term, and that's been the big concern since he came into the league. Missed time as a rookie. Got hurt at Duke when the shoe exploded on the floor Literally. at Cameron Indoor. And now he's dealing with the foot injury that we really didn't know about until the offseason right before training camp. So those injury issues are going to continue to remain, but still at the same time. And let me go back to this. Like if I'm the Pelicans, his value is still high. 
Oh. I have concerns <laughs> about the weight. I have concerns yeah. about the body. I have concerns about him staying here long term. Get whatever you can get back, even if it's a ransom. Yeah, I still think, like, if I'm New Orleans, like, I'm asking for an absolute haul from the yeah. Knicks side of this. I think they need to make a splash. I really do. And not for the sake of making one, but we broke down – the draft, the free agency, and we like the moves they made. They couldn't get that A-level guy. You get guys like Evan Fournier, Kimba Walker, and I like how they brought this roster together, but we've seen 40-plus games of it now, and it's a 500 type of team, right? Yeah. It's one step forward. It's two steps back. I think at some point, the Knicks are built for electricity. They need to make a splash. I like some of the pieces they have, but you can't have Julius Randle be your best player. You just can't. Like, you're not – you have a ceiling as a team if Julius is your best player. And that's that's not a, a, a knock on Julius. He's been a great developmental player since he's entered the league. But he's not an alpha number one guy. I yeah. think Zion could be, especially in a hostile environment that is Madison Square Garden. I think this would be fun. I think Knicks fans would rally around this guy, and I think he would absolutely embrace playing in front of 20,000 every single night. Now, what you guys should embrace is getting this Knicks hoodie because it is on sale at chatsports.com slash Knicks sale. Tons of different Knicks gear you is available. You and the segues today, uh, man. Hey, you know, it's, Flawless. Uh, I've done, I used to do some radio. Jeez. I've done this before. Chatsports.com slash Knicks sale. The Tons of different teams. gear, not just the items on screen. Beanies, hats, T-shirts. Uh, you got some shorts in there, hoodies, long sleeves, short sleeve. We got it all. Chatsports.com slash Nick Sale. And if you don't like any of the items, uh, once you go to that link, you can browse other items at Fanatics once you get to their website there. Chatsports.com slash Nick Sale. Go check it out. Go pick up some New York Knicks gear today. Okay, so we promised you guys we cooked up some trades. Chase has one. I have one. I'm going to let Chase break down his first. I'll break down mine, and then we'll ask you guys which trade is better. All right, Chase, this is the one you cooked up. What do you think uh, about uh, – or uh, sell us on this trade idea for the Knicks. Yeah, so look, obviously when you trade for Zion Williamson, you're going to have to give up a haul, and that's what New York would have to do if they want to trade for Zion Williamson yeah. and team him up with his college teammates and Cam Reddish and R.J. Barrett. So this deal, I put it in the NBA trade machine. The salaries match, so it would actually work. Now, if you're the Knicks, do you like it? If you're the Pelicans, do you say yes? To be determined, but it does work financially. Obi Toppin, Emmanuel Quickly, Quentin Grimes, three really good young players who the Pelicans can rebuild with once they move the franchise to, I don't know, Las Vegas, maybe Seattle, Nashville in a couple of years. That's at least my prediction. And then you get three first-round picks on top of those young players to also build with. The Knicks only get back Zion Williamson. The upside is why that deal is so fat. And frankly, I kind of like it for New York if... Zion Williamson is able to stay healthy. Of course, we know that that isn't a big if. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely an if. It's definitely it's a, a risk, but it's if. a risk I'm willing to take if I am the Knicks. Similar trade for me, uh, Zion. I threw in Didi Lazuda just as kind of a player in return to kind of balance out the roster numbers there. Uh, hasn't done much in his two-year career. Obi Toppin, Emmanuel Quickly, and Mitchell Robinson go to the Pelicans. Uh, and then those three first-round picks, uh, same as yours, which, by the way, a lot of you guys are probably saying, you can't, uh, you can't send back-to-back first-round picks. Well, the one in 2023 would be the one from the Mavericks in the Chris Stapps Porzingis trade. So the every other year applies, 22 and 24 from New York. The 23 one is the Mavericks pick, so you're covered there. Sure, you're giving up three young players, but it's not like quickly topping a Robinson or stars. And I don't really think any of those guys actually have star potential. I think they have – starter potential, which Robinson already is. Yeah. Uh, but, man, Zion has top five player in the league potential. He has MVP potential, potentially. Like, if you could pull that off for three kind of role players and three first-round picks, it's a lot. But I think it's something I'd be willing to do, Chase. Hey, who has the better trade idea? Your opportunity to let us know. Am I a fraud? Is Harrison a dope? Hey, you can say whatever you want in the comment section, but let us know the better trade idea. Type H for H. Graham. Type C for C. Senor. Get those votes in down below. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Hit that big red button and subscribe. I promise you this. If the Knicks trade for Zion, we're going to be breaking it down. Hell, we'll probably Very go fast. live yeah. on our Knicks channel <laughs> if they get Zion. YouTube.com slash Knicks TV. It would be awesome. Any other news, rumors, trade ideas, trade buzz that circulate as well, we'll certainly cover those as well. Myself, Chase Sr., Marshall Green, who you guys have grown accustomed to seeing as well. Be on the lookout for more videos from him here on New York's Knicks Now. Make sure to subscribe, youtube.com slash TV.